What we have uh, tried to demonstrate is how to detect early bovine respiratory disease. And when we do that, the early treatment, what kind of outcome and beneficial impact we have. We were working on the detection of pneumonia through ultrasonography examination. So basically, the calf were followed because we scanned them with the ultrasound machine at a frequent basis, two to three times a week. We were able to detect five days before clinical signs the presence of pneumonia in these cows. So what we learned is that the uh, recovery from pneumonia was exceptional because we had this treated group and these cows detected early, but we have also in parallel a group of cows that never had pneumonia and we compare them until the whole production cycle. And in the end, the growth performance the carcass weight of this animal was identical between the two groups. So in a nutshell, what it shows is that early detection is really interesting to do, and we can do it by scanning frequently the calves to detect pneumonia, but it's equally important to have a powerful combination of antibiotic and anti-inflammatory to reach a similar, I would say, zoonotic growth and health performance compared to healthy cow. My oral presentation was about assessment of the impact of paromomycin in the gut of healthy cow. And why is it relevant in terms of cow health is just because of the disease cryptosporidiosis. We know paromomycin to be effective to treat the disease, but we know also that it's an antibiotic and we need to know a little bit more about its impact, the impact of paromomycin upon bacteria in the intestine of cow. And this is a study that is showing interesting data about what's happening after cows are exposed to the dose register of paromomycin for treating cryptosporidiosis. We have not observed a transmission of resistance from resistant strain to sensitive strain. Uh, so we think that during the study, there was not this horizontal gene transfer, which is the most common way uh, sensitive bacteria acquire resistance. So that's something which is important. But we also learned that before any exposure to paromomycin, the calf were already for one third of them harboring uh, resistant phenotypes, so some bacteria that have already, before any treatment, the resistant genes. And lastly, at the end, after the treatment, we also had several time points, uh, up to uh, 36 days after treatment, and we have seen at this last time point that there was a reversal and a gradual return to sensitivity of a large number of bacteria in the intestine of those calves.